let us just deep dive into a solar full text search so i will search by name eden and i got eden hazard good then i will uh, now try let's say ede and search i haven't got any result so partial search is not working let's try something like uh, haza has haza again partial search is not working then um, so why is this happening so as you can see sunspot's default search schema uses fairly conservative configuration so the tokenizer tokenizes the text using white space and other delimiters right so they are tokenized into words and only full words are matched right here so we, that's why you know when we are typing uh, eden we are getting a match but we are not getting a match on partial like ede or hsa or something like that we need to learn more about this full text search configuration for solar in order to you know get uh, results even for partial uh, searches right so let's look at the various configurations that we can do cool really so the schema is present in schema.xml files file right it's in solar conf folder and we have to understand three things basically analyzers tokenizers and filters so tokenizers are nothing but uh, the program or something which breaks your data into tokens filters is basically uh, something which transforms them into let's say lower case or something like that and analyzers uh, examines the contents it's a uh, nothing but uh, a composition of series of tokenizers and filters so let's have a look at analyzer so if you see this is one example of analyzer it has one standard tokenizer then it has got some filters such as lower case and standard filter and something like that talking about tokenizer so let's see what is the standard tokenizer right the standard tokenizer is which we used at first right it treats white space and punctuation characters as delimiters and for example uh, at the rate character is among uh, the delimiters so email addresses are not preserved as single tokens let's look at the example so this is the text which we have indexed please you know and now look how it is divided into tokens such as please email you know john do foo.com by 0309 then we are going to use uh, ngram tokenizers basically so i'm going to talk about it in uh, next few minutes so if you look at ngram tokenizers it has uh, let's say in this we are specifying the uh, max gram size 5 so for that if you look at the sample text as bicycle it will be tokenized at max in the sequence of 5 so you can see bc cycle and everything like that here for ngram tokenizer uh, it reads the fill text and generates the tokens in the size of given range for example uh, let's take one more example uh, edge ngram tokenizer is one more ngram tokenizer so in the next example we are taking max gram size as 5 and minimum size as 2 so if the text is bablu to be indexed it is tokenized as ba bab baba babal minimum 2 maximum 5 in that range it is tokenized right so this is pretty much uh, a lot of technicality you can also add change the full text behavior by adding adding into the analyzer your own uh, factories these are the standard factories but you can add something to it you can use regular expressions basically so there is a lot of documentation available for that here they have added one more uh, factory to their uh, analyzer right so there is a lot of documentation available and we are also going to discuss two three such uh, configurations in our video so this is the schema.xml file that i was talking about right so uh, if you look at the analyzers so we are using autocomplete edge right um, and we have autocomplete ngram there is a normal text one also they they are named they are named as mentioned here 
so all these different analyzers we have uh, names such as ACS, ACES and uh, ASS for autochrome breed characterogram. Let's discuss these uh, token analyzers one by one. So let's first start with uh, autocomplete age, right? So it will be called, nicknamed as ACE, fine, and ACES if you are using it for storing the field, right? So I will, uh, when I'm in my searchable block where I am indexing name for full text, I'll also use as name underscore ACE. I'll also mention the name of my analyzer. Right, and we need to re-index the data because we have changed the searchable block. So let's do the full text search again. So I'll just say this time Eden. So we got the match, and then I'll say EDE. We got the match. Then I'll say uh, Hazard, and we haven't got a match. So that's a problem. Then let's say Haza. We haven't got a match. So it works from left to right. Then we have Diego, we got a match. Then we got Diego, one, two, three, we got a match. Then we said Diego, one, two, we got a match. Diego, one. So clearly with this uh, ACE, we got left to right, partial and full, not from right to left. And also alphanumeric can be searched. Right, so but from right to left, we are not getting the match. Right now, let's look at uh, we have just seen autocomplete age. Now, let's look at autocomplete engram. This is uh, abbreviated as ACS, where when we are storing it is ACS, otherwise, it is AC. When we are storing the field, it is ACS, otherwise, it is AC. I'll change my searchable block. I'll use ACS now as my analyzer. I'll need to re index the data again. So let's do that very quickly and let's go back to our search interface again let's say hazard we got a match good so from right to left also we are getting the match hazar also we got the match haz we also got the match then we say eden eden we got the match ede we got the match so both full text uh, partial strings and full strings are working from right to left left to right both sides so you can say hazard is also getting so this is pretty good this is pretty much more like what we wanted let's check out the alphanumeric so let's say diego we got the match uh, this is partial match then let's say diego one oh there's a problem then let's say diego one diego one two we haven't got a match then we the Diego. so basically acs the cannot search if you provide numerics in the text whatever text we are searching if we, it is alphanumeric it won't search let's look at uh, autocomplete character in gram which is abbreviated as ASS or AS let's take a look at uh, this you know so I'll now index using ASS fine so again let's re-index it very quickly uh, all the players then let's search Diego we got match Let's search Diego, we got a match. Let's search Diego 1, we got a match. Let's search Diego 1, 2, we got a match. So alphanumerics are clearly working with uh, ASS. Fine. Uh, yeah, so this is even better than ACS. So even Costa is working from left to right or right to left. All are valid matches. So this is one more analyzer which we used ASS. Cool. This is pretty much, you can do a lot of things here. Uh, as we discussed, there are some settings such as you can specify the max gram size that we talked about few minutes earlier, right? Like the maximum, you can also specify min gram size. You can use regular expressions in this uh, analyzers. And there are a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of documentation available as I showed you a few pages on the solar website. So yeah, and for your reference, this source code is also available. Uh, with this video so you can play around it according to your requirements and get the configuration full text configuration that whatever your application requires according to the functionality that you are building all right so now let's move on to another full text functionality called as boost so i will need another controller uh, for this i'm going to search on teams now so i'll create a controller called as 
team search controller fine and uh, i'll create two routes very identical uh, routes to that of your uh, player search controller right one for getting the form and one for submitting the form and let's go to that uh, controller and write these two methods right the new search team and search teams it's really identical to the controller that we saw for player search right uh, i'll now create the necessary views fine so new search team.html.erb and it will be very similar so this is my view for search teams similar right and uh, i'll now write the logic so this is my logic right so here i am uh, also using one condition apart from the full text search uh, i'm searching on uh, this is the uh, value which i get from my form I'm searching on field city as well as club name in my team table, in my team model, right? Also, I'm using a condition. So I'm passing a parameter from the input form, London only. If it's true, then I'm putting a condition that city should be London for that uh, team, right? Let's write a searchable block for our team model, right? So I'll use, I'm using city and club name, right? So text uh, club name. Uh, let's use analyzer uh, ACS because I, I I don't think we have any alphanumeric club names. So you, let's I think ACS should be sufficient. So club name. So you will have to use it as club name underscore ACS. So this is sufficient, and then we'll see uh, city also. We'll also index city for full text. So text city again as Mm, city underscore ACS right for applying the condition on city we need to also index city as string so string city we need to index this because we are applying condition right on it so this is pretty much my searchable block so I need to as I said these two are full text fields yeah so now let's index the data re index it because we have added a searchable block on team model cool so let's now go back and search. So we are getting all the 20 English Premier League teams. Okay, let's apply the condition. Show only those teams which are based in London. So you are only seeing the clubs in London now. So that logic, the width condition, if you remember in our controller, we added this logic. With city equal to London, if search params London only equal to true. If you have checked that checkbox, then that condition will be applied. This is one more neat thing with solar. We can apply conditions. Now I want to show you boost. So I'll try to search by using Liverpool. So let's say I'll search Liverpool. So we're getting two matches, Everton and Liverpool, because both are from the city of Liverpool. But I think we want Liverpool to come up in the search order, search results order, because uh, club name is more important in search than city name, right? So Liverpool result should be up before the Everton result. So Let's do something for that. So we can do something for that to achieve that. So we can say while searching full text, while doing full text search on club name field, there's a boost of 2.0. So boost the results when they match with club name, uh, right? So when they match with city and club name, both club name matches will get a boost. So now let's do the search. You can see the Liverpool has come on top now because it matches with club name also apart from the city name. And club name has a boost so now it is coming up you can also specify boost in your searchable block so in the club name you can say boost uh, as 2.0 right so it is double it's double the value of boost than the other full text parameter that is city right so this is one more way of providing boost here you just you can just remove it because we have specified that in the uh, specified that in the searchable block we need to re-index as we change the searchable block and let's just check it out very quickly so let's say Liverpool and now same again we are getting cool thank you for watching